I am utilizing a low-level deck to ensure that everyone can successfully clear these stages. On the first stage, our main focus should be to protect Daniel. To do so, place the Cassandra immediately and keep casting any of your preferred spells. For this stage, your goal is to distract the ghouls until time runs out. Keep their attention on you, and avoid letting them reach Daniel. In this stage, try your best to avoid taking any hits. Preserving full health is crucial for the upcoming final phase, so be cautious and avoid getting hit if possible. Run around the stage and use charms on Scroots, and later on Ashwinders. Choose only the green bonuses to gain an advantage. For optimal success, utilize Accio and Prior Incantato. Pull the Grindylows from the pool and defeat them to advance. Accio! Accio! In this phase, keep a safe distance and employ charm spells to defeat all enemies on the stage. Keep your health at its full capacity throughout this stage. In this phase, the key is to dodge enemy attacks until the cutscene triggers. I, I won't let you fight Literally alone. Depends on the, mind. the first step in this stage's final phase. Move behind the crowd for better positioning. Cast the Glacius Maxima charm continuously until the boss is defeated. Glacius Maxima! Glacius Maxima! In Flotus, Orb of Water, Glacius Maxima, Glacius Maxima, Glacius Maxima. Glacius Maxima! Inflatus! Orb of water! Glacius Maxima! 
Switching to Dobby Echo for faster movement in the final stage is crucial. Remember, it's important not to click excessively while maneuvering forward to avoid unnecessary moves. Upon reaching a waypoint, tap again to blink forward, then tap once more to resume running at full speed. Should the Dementor's attack overlap with your character, use the emergency blink to avoid the impending hit. In this phase, you only need to hold until the cutscene proceeds. Take the quiz and prepare to discover what Patronus you will receive. Now, continue to move around the stage, using the Expecto Patronum charm, and defeating all the Dementors in your way. Your chosen animal is now depicted on your Expecto Patronus charm, symbolizing the Patronus you have obtained. If you're not content with the animal displayed on your Expecto Patronum charm, simply press the orb on the screen's bottom right corner to try taking the quiz again on your Facebook page. Press the first button, specifically labeled as Summon via the event page. Players using PC, scan the QR code for redirection to your Facebook page. Ensure that your device is in portrait orientation before proceeding. Go ahead and begin the Patronus quiz by pressing the button.
Now, press Confirm and select the server and ID of the character who will receive the Patronus. After completing any necessary confirmations, go to your in-game mailbox to collect your newly acquired Patronus. Now, replace your current Patronus with the new one by confirming your choice. If you're still dissatisfied with your current Patronus, you can ask a friend with a Facebook account to take the quiz on their page and then send the preferred Patronus to your account. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and we'll see you in the next episode. Uhtred, you do seem a bit thoughtful today. Has something happened? I find myself still contemplating the mysterious person I encountered. He boasted several intriguing accessories, black nails, a body adorned with dark tattoos, and he was holding a captivating black feather quill, adding to his mystique. All these mysteries happening all in the same week?